Hello and welcome to all in this SAP tutorial. Today we are going to discuss how to execute SAP jobs in background. Because it's it is very important concept you should learn how you can execute the SAP jobs in background because due to some uh, for example if I just want to extract the heavy reports of any in any module then you need to execute the job these jobs in uh, backgrounds to avoid the crash because uh, sometime you will get the ABAP runtime error uh, sometime you will get the system memory crash flow or anything so and you should save the time by executing the job in background okay for example if you have scheduled the job in the background then and you just log out from the system then Th that job is automatically running in the background of the SAP server and you will get the data in uh, at your schedule required time okay so how you can execute these job in background so we will see step by step in the practical mode okay so see for example uh, if I just want to execute any uh, MM reports or any uh, financial reports and any SD reports then you need to execute some transaction codes and, uh, and that transaction codes fetching the data of the oral systems okay so after scheduling the job in background you will get all the reports okay so jobs SAP jobs in the background is very important okay Hope you understand for example i'm just executing that uh, asset register asset register of uh, our company so for example i just want to execute this job in background then first you just fill the basic data basic data of your uh, transaction code basic data of your transaction code once you fill then you just execute the report in background okay here i am just executing the transaction code ar02 call up asset register okay asset register okay and go in the program uh, go in the program menu okay go in the program here you said execute in the background okay execute in the background and uh, then you need to click on the continue okay then click on immediate okay you can schedule this on particular date or time okay you can schedule this job at particular date and click on the save here you need to click on the save okay then your job is successfully scheduled in the background okay a background job was scheduled for a program this in background hope you understand and you can check the status of this job in sm37 report okay you can check this in sm37 uh, there is a transaction code uh, sm37 okay in SM37, uh, your job name, username, schedule, click on the schedule, released, ready, active, finished, cancel, and all. And uh, select the date. Uh, select the date. Okay. Here you need to select the date. Click on the job status, schedule, released, ready, active, finished, cancel. Okay. And here you need to choose the job start condition. Okay, this is the dates and this is the time uh, schedules. Okay, for example, we have successfully scheduled a job in previous month. Then you can choose the calendar from the previous month. Okay, and here you can schedule the dive for the in the office hours. After office hours, you can schedule this job. This condition is required when you have scheduled number of jobs if you have scheduled few jobs then you can select that maximum date range and time range you will get the data hope you understand 
so once you execute then uh, i have scheduled only single job status is finished in the 10 second so uh, you need to click on this and click on the spool okay once you click on the spool and click on the spool number click on the abap list okay once you click on the abap list then the system will generate a uh, abap program report like this and you need to execute this data from here okay before executing this job you go in the setting and uh, from page to maximum page because if your reports comprises in the 100 pages then you need to take the job in the 100 pages okay then you need to click on this report okay displaying 18 pages could cause a memory overflow you should ignore this warning okay and this is the record which is reflecting here okay and from here you can extract this data in the local file and you will get the exact report in the local file okay and this is the way how can you execute this sap jobs in background okay so this is very important and uh, you can uh, schedule this job in the background okay and uh, hope you understand and save this data in the excel file and you just execute okay so once you save this data then and you can execute any report in the background okay and uh, hope you understand this process uh, how we can execute this job in the background okay first schedule the job in the background for your required date and time check in the sm37 extract the report in the spool request in sm37 hope you understand and if you have any query regarding same in your mind then please mention in the comment section or reach us at erpsap team one at the gmail.com and I will resolve uh, your all the queries and this is uh, this is your understanding purpose tutorial and uh, training purpose tutorial uh, we have we are creating these tutorials for your understanding and how you should understand sap basic concepts sap understanding and all okay so thank you have a nice day and uh, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel for our latest SAP post and videos. Okay. And uh, I repeat again, if you have any query in your mind, please mention in the comment section and please share this knowledge with your colleagues. Those who are working in the area of SAP because knowledge sharing is very important. More and more your colleagues and friends should understand this knowledge because if we, if they, have such type of the basic knowledge they will much much efficient at workplace at your workplace in sap okay thank you